with this lady, she don't even, she, the application she did it herself, she don't even want a lease because she says she don't want to go through all that. You have so to have a lease. You have to have a lease. It's a simple lease. You want a lease. The reason why she doesn't want to do a lease is because she doesn't have a simple process for a lease. Or that might be it. Or she's doing something fishy, right? So if you make the process simple simple for her, which I'll help you do, then you, you're covered and she's covered. If, if she's not, if she doesn't want to do a lease, like if you make it simple and she goes, well, Cassandra, you know, I don't, I just don't want to do a lease. Now you got something else to think about. Like, what do you, how, how, how can we get you going? So, um, well, long story short. So the other day, as I was coming by the store, so I saw a number that say house for rent. So I called the lady. So I, when I called her, she told me that she purchased, she had built her a new home. So she's moving out her house. So she's renting it out. So we made a schedule. We went to go see it. And then she called me. She, I went to go see it. I like it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm going to do because what she did, because she was very easy. She just want to rent the house. Okay. So, All right. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me just back up a little bit. So did you go out there yet? Yes, I went to go see it. She called me to come see the house. Okay, so, so she, she called you to come see it. And then yeah. um, you went to see it. I went to go see the house and I like it. You it's like it? Bedroom. How many? Three bedroom. Okay, two. okay. And it's 1500. She's asking first and last month and she asked me 750 for deposit. All right, so I went to go see it because when I talked to her, she was picking up her kids. I um I didn't want to scare her, so when she called me the next day, I tell her I was interested in renting it, and then she called me the next day to come see the house, because what she told me she the house will be available June first. So when I went to go see the house, she talked to me, she liked me, and I liked the house. The house is not too far from my house. Even if I wouldn't be able to do Airbnb in it, I'm thinking of moving into the house and then use my own personal home to do the Airbnb. As you're moving forward with this process with her, um, I would still just say, hey, you know, just by chance, is it, you know, like as you're moving forward, if you want to proceed forward with the process and you're like, okay, well, you know what? I'd move into that one and stay there and then just do my own home. Like you could do that if you wanted to and not even say anything to her. Would you be okay with me hosting my, my clients here? And if she says, no, I wouldn't want that. I would just say, okay, no, no worries. If you're okay moving in yourself, but, and then using your own place. But if she says, no, that would be fine. It's in the, um, it's in the lease. And I'll show you how to do that. And then you could do do it either way. With this lady, she don't even, she the application she did it herself, she don't even want a lease because she says she don't want to go through all that. You have so to have a lease. You have to have a lease. I'm going to tell you that now. You want a lease. Use my lease. You want a lease. Let me tell you why. Because now, if, you're, if you don't have a lease, all you have is a month-to-month -month agreement. And if you have a month-to-month -month agreement, Basically, she could tell you tomorrow after you get in and you've spent 3500 and you spent another 1200 to get it all furnished and and then you you know you you got guests checking in next week you spent all you know this time getting your listing up and optimized everything's going perfect Airbnb sending you all these business travelers you're you're in there now and you got two months worth of bookings and then next month she goes three months worth of bookings next month she goes well Cassandra you know what my son is you know going we're going through some things and and we need a place for him and you know so we just want to we just want to end the lease early i mean we want to you know because we're on a month to month we want to you know we'll give you a deposit back and everything and we want you know we want to be able to take over the place in another month or two is that you know she doesn't even have to say is that okay with you because okay, that's why me i made the choice i don't mind moving i would move and then use mine no, I understand, but I'm saying though, where are you going to go after that? You got to now go to another place. You you don't want to like I I'll get you the lease that you need. It's a simple lease. You want a lease. The reason why she doesn't want to do a lease 
is because she doesn't have a simple process for a lease. Or that might be it. Or she's doing something fishy, right? So if you make the process simple, simple for her, which I'll help you do, then you you're covered and she's covered. If if she's not, if she doesn't want to do a lease, like if you make it simple and she goes, well, Cassandra, you know, I don't, I just don't want to do a lease. Now you got something else to think about. Like, why doesn't she want to do a lease? I gave her a good reason why I want to do a lease. Cause I just, you know, I just feel comfortable with the lease that way. You know, I know I'm at least, you know, and I know I'm in here at least for a year. You need to, you, you're going to need to give some more consideration to why isn't she okay with that. So I hear what you're saying. Like, it's, it sounds like it's going to be pretty simple. Like she's very motivated. She doesn't really want all this stuff, but we're not, I'm not trying to tell you to make it more complicated. That's not it. Remember my motto is keep it simple and we will, but we're going to make that process simple for her too. Yeah. Because, um, cause technically she want me to come sign the, I think the lease, the application today. The application is different. Application and lease are two totally different things. So here's the deal. Before you go signing anything, you need to have, you should have her, a, 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 you know, hey, Patricia, that's great. Looking forward to signing at least. Hey, by chance though, is it possible you can text me a copy or email me a copy of it, of it so that I can review it before I get over there? And and now also maybe I could bring mine too maybe when I go. And well, then, if she no, no, nah, nah. if she no, you don't need to do that. If she already wants to use her own lease, that's that's fine. Um, or you could say, or no, this is what I normally do because if she doesn't have a lease ready already, maybe she's scrambling mm-hmm. trying to get one. So what you can do is go to the platform and download the lease in phase one, module three, and then just go ahead and fill that out. Fill the lease out. Put your name. Put your put her name. Put the address. The amount. Send that to me. I'll look it over real quick and tell you what you need to change on that. Cause I'll review my own lease. I won't review everyone else's lease. I'll review my own. So when you, when you make those modifications, then I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll, I mean, I'll look at it. I'll say, yep, yep, yep. Or fix this, fix that. Then you fix it. And then you're just going to put draft for discussion purposes only. And then you'll say, Hey, I didn't know if you have one or if it's not, but here's one that I normally use and it might make things simple for you here. Take a look at it. And so you could just message her that, right? And then you see, you you put it in um, Dropbox box like I do with you guys, and with the template, put it in Dropbox, send her the link, and she could just open it up wherever she's at on her phone, whatever. She could look at it. She'll say, "Wow, Cassandra, I like this. Yeah, we could use that." When did you when did you see this place? I went to go see it. Was it yesterday? Okay. Yesterday. All right. Good. So we're still early in the process. So what I would recommend. Because if she's scrambling, you'll be way ahead of her. Go ahead and download that lease, get it filled out, and, and text me when it's filled out. Um, to Ashley, we have a new process where I'm getting you, I'm putting everyone in my um, individual, you guys are all going to be individually put in the support group on Messenger, my Messenger uh, chat group, support group. So my team is also surrounding you, so I don't miss you. Text me when you when you do that and then I'll get you and I'll get you over to the group as well. Hey guys, it's Jim. I hope you're enjoying the series of videos that I'm putting out of my new student hosts. There's a couple that I put out before this, a couple that I'm putting out after as well. It's all real informative stuff to help you um, in your journey with Airbnb passive income. And if you do enjoy it, I'd ask you to do a couple of things. One, to if you're if we're on air, if you're watching this on YouTube, like and share the video, um, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're not on YouTube, go ahead over to the channel and um, subscribe, like and share the video. Be passive income to, to be able to support the vision that God's given you for your life. And um, and then also, I don't know if you know, but we also have I also have a semi-private group. Um, where you know we're in there and we share a lot of things um in the group uh you're able to to, to kind of see more of what this what my students are doing and um and also what some of the other folks that are doing that are just trying to get started and if you're already in it great you're already in the group you know what we're doing and glad to have you now the last thing is this if you're already in the group or if you're not in the group and um you're not a student you know and you like the information that uh the free information that i'm sharing 
and you you feel like maybe this would be a great fit for you as far as being able to you know do Airbnb passive income without owning property, then schedule one on one with me. I'd love to meet with you. As you know, I love helping people start and grow their five thousand to fifteen thousand dollar a month Airbnb passive income business without banks without experience and without owning property. And if it is a great fit and I'm able to give you an invitation because my academy is invitation only, get you enrolled and get you started today. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting with you and working with you in the very near future. God bless you.